So this morning, we are doing the best trail, in my opinion, here in the park, and that's Franny Mountain. So this is a 7.4 kilometer. It's rated as difficult, and it offers some of the best views in the entire park, and it overlooks the Clyburn Valley. The day before, we had spent some time in and around the Clyburn Valley as we hiked the beautiful Clyburn Valley Trail. It was here that we learned that this area was a former gold mining town that, unfortunately, didn't end up paying off. But all wasn't lost. The area still boasts some of the most scenic parts of the island and really helps make Highlands National Park an ideal stop for anyone visiting Nova Scotia. Despite a cooler day, the skies were clear, and we set off on one of the few difficult rated trails within the park. You'll climb over 1,000 feet as you make your way up this 7.4 kilometer or 4.6 mile loop trail. Set aside about three hours for this trail and perhaps a bit more to rest and take in the views. You don't know it yet, but they are some of the best in the entire park. The trail itself is a steady climb, with only a few minor steep sections. Although they aren't needed, we decided to use our Fay Active trekking poles, a practice we started doing on any difficult rated trail. Trekking poles help distribute the weight and give you additional stability as you climb up and down the steeper sections of the trail. We also found that they help you keep pace, keeping you from either rushing or going too slow. We're only about half an hour or so into the hike, and these are the type of views that we're gonna be able to expect from this hike. Now, you could turn around here, be perfectly happy with your view, but I'm gonna encourage you to continue just like we're gonna do, because the views at the top are even more dramatic than what you see behind me. Pushing onward, you'll notice the trail begins to get a bit steeper. The trail also goes from a pretty easy path to one filled with rocks and tree roots. You'll want to be extra careful here as it's easy to trip or twist an ankle. On some of the more steep sections, you'll see stairs have been added to the trail. Stairs will help give you some support as you go up and help prevent you from slipping going back down. This trail does technically go in a loop, so if you continue to follow it, you won't see these stairs again. In our opinion, it's easier to complete the loop than going back the way you came, although the second half is significantly less beautiful than the first. You'll know you've reached the top when the trees clear and the views present themselves. Here, you get panoramic views of the ocean and of the mountain chain. The views here, like I mentioned, are among my favorite in the entire park. Here, you can sit in the red chairs of Parks Canada and look out over the view. The first time I was here, I didn't notice or know about the side trail just off to the right of the chairs that takes you down the mountain just a bit to even more views of the mountainside. Below, you can see the Clyburn Brook, the water which followed the hike listed at the start of the video. Seeing it from above gives you a completely different perspective. The mountains from here actually look bigger than they did from down below. How is that possible? I don't know. Perhaps you can just get a sense of the scale from this height. Heading back down, you'll follow a path that brings you right to the parking lot. As seen by this line of cars, it's best to arrive early to get a parking spot even remotely close to the trailhead. Luckily, we did and only saw the aftermath on our way out. Why not join us for other trails within Highlands National Park by subscribing to our channel? We have a ton of amazing upcoming hikes, and then we're always on to the next destination to showcase a world filled with beauty, history, and life. To learn more about this and other trails, please visit joshuatravelguide.ca for our written travel guides.